All right, so we've got the oils and stuff out of here. We've got good, clean water that we're going to now start to heat back up to a nice simmer. Uh, one thing I like about this method, guys, when I'm done, I'm going to shut this down. It's all going to cool off. And then what happens is, if you can see, when it cools off, then I can just break out the wax and then save it. It's clean. And then I just put it back in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just get it to where it, of course, will uh, get heated up and liquefy and it'll be sitting on top of the water and then we will take the traps and usually what I do is I'll put like four traps down in here and I'll hold the chain up above and then as I take them out I take one out at a time and bring it up through the wax give it a little shake and then set it off to the side and here is what it looks like once the wax is down in there now as this heats, uh, the water heats up, it will then melt the wax and we'll have a nice film of wax. Now I am hoping that this will be enough wax to get me through this year. Uh, this was two pounds of wax two years ago, so I've gotten two years out of it. I'm trying to push it one more year. So uh, I only have a dozen traps, I believe, a dozen and a half traps to do for this season. So. Uh, We'll wait till this uh, liquefies and we'll get back with you. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a look. We're about halfway of uh, melting this wax down. You can see how it's uh, melt, melting down. You can look right here. It's got the pots coming to the top of the water. You can see how it's going to float right on there. And uh, it's probably going to be about a half inch uh, thick laying on top of that water. But I'll actually bring those traps right up through. All right, I'll show you once I get ready to put the traps. So we are melted here. So we're about ready to, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put four traps in. You can kind of see, I'm gonna put the hanger there. Then what I'll do, after about 20 minutes, these traps get to that temperature of that, then I'll pick that up and I'll take out one at a time. And I'll show you when I take out one and then at the end I'll show you what they look like. All right, guys, so uh, I've had them in here. Uh, they're right about 20 minutes. And uh, so I pick it up, and you can see how it steams off of there. So I know that it is up to temperature. And by holding it here, I know this wax, if uh, this stuff was not as hot as the wax, I would get a real white coating on here. So that's that's another way that you can tell if your wax has been, uh, if your traps are as, uh, hot as the wax. So what I'm going to do, I got this little hook right here. I am going to take my first one. Now that I have that hooked, I'm going to just I'm going to bring it up nice and slow, just bring it right up out of the the wax and then uh, I will kind of shake that wax, the excess off, so I get a nice even coat. Just bring it up like this. I just slowly bring it up out. I want to bring it up through that wax. Nice and slowly. I get it up above the wax. I want to shake it. Now this is where it's uh you gotta be very careful you get that over that open flame, this will cause a fire. So be careful please. Bring it off to the side. I'm gonna shake that excess off. I'm away from the flame. And there you have it guys. I will show you. You can see how it looks jet nice and shiny that is a properly waxed trap you can see I do not have any white on that that tells me this trap was definitely warm enough now I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna repeat the process for these three and then get another bundle of traps in there I will show you uh, the finished product when I'm all done here we are guys with the finished product uh, as you see I have them hanging here um, now they they remember they looked real wet when I took them out once you hang them up there now you can just kind of see how the uh, wax it's kind of got a sheen to it but it's kind of dull 
you can see I got a little bit of pulling right here on the tip of that one there. Um, I'll kind of show you these ones here. The, it's getting a little bit later in the evening, so it's getting a little bit cool. But you can see kind of right there, you know, um, you can just pop those off. But uh, they're ready to go into the uh, their containers, guys. And uh, the only thing that's left to do is to put on the, the anchors on the ones that I don't have. I will be doing that as I set them in the ground. So the plan will be tomorrow morning after this cools down. I'm going to show you guys how the, uh, the wax will have a film on there, how I break it out, chunk it out, and uh, put it back in the uh, baggie and save it for next year. Um, I do know I will have to probably buy another pound block. See you tomorrow morning. As you see, guys, it is the next morning. I have let this thing cool, and now what I got is a plate of wax. See that? So now, all I do is break that wax down. That's basically it, guys. <clears throat> That's how I do it. That's how I uh, save my wax uh, year after year. And uh, I want to just thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video. Um, I want to thank my faithful supporters for everything they do for me and my channel. For those of you that are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And uh, hit that... Uh, thumbs up and share it if you would so be inclined as always guys you have a blessed day and remember keep sharing your passion